What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and I got a request to do an unboxing of this vacuum since, I don't know, I just got a request to do an unboxing of it, so this is a vacuum cleaner that I bought, this is a Dyson DC-18 Slim Ball All Floors Upright Vacuum, got it for $90 plus shipping, and yeah, I wasn't going to do a, an unboxing of this because what's the point it's already been done before I already have one of these and someone might ask why did you buy this if you already have one okay I bought this first I bought this Dyson DC-18 and then my other DC-18 I bought locally and the plan was is that I was going to buy the one locally to make sure that I got it and then once I got it, I was going to cancel the other order but that didn't work out the seller had already shipped it, and the last thing I want to do is, is you know, send back an item when it hasn't even been delivered just because I found another one of the same item. So I'm gonna unbox this, and who knows? Maybe I'll keep, maybe I'll keep this one because maybe it'll be in better condition, and I want to go ahead and sell the other one, or maybe not. Maybe this will be in worse condition and it won't work, and I'll have to return it. Who knows? But. I'm very, very paranoid because I also ordered a Dyson V7 from a different seller and it never arrived. So let's hope that this seller, which this seller is Sonodo. So this seller is from, is seller Sonodo. They have 917 as their uh, activity or whatever and they have 100% positive feedback. They have this marked as used. It says, another great slim sale, Dyson DC-18 Slim All Floors Upright Vacuum Cleaner with two one, this, with two one piece attachment cleaner. Okay, so it says, so with two piece attachment, yeah, so this has both attachments, so that's good. It's in used condition, working condition. It is functions as expected from the high-end brand company. Vacuum has normal wear. See all pictures for a better description. Ask questions if you like. Thanks. See below for details. And uh, there's like four different fonts in this description. I don't know why there's like four different fonts here, but there is. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and I guess we'll open this up. Now, this box really worries me because this is kind of squishy and not all very firm. It looks like two boxes that were taped together. And also, it's not marked which side is up. So, I may open this the wrong direction. But they didn't mark it, so yeah. I guess we're going to open this then. So, we'll grab the lovely unboxing knife. It, what? Is that even an actual, like, crease? Okay. Don't want to obviously cut this vacuum. Pretty sure this is two boxes together. Oh dear. There we go. Oh God. All right, I already don't like this. There's packing peanuts. There's packing peanuts. There's packing peanuts. I'm frustrated. There's packing peanuts. Lovely. Oh God, why? Why? Newspapers exist. Bubble wrap exists. Why do you have to do this to me? Why? Okay, I did. Oh, okay, this is the right way. Okay. Oh, God. And it's two boxes together, so I can't even keep all these peanuts in one spot. Uh, here's the handle. Huh. Has a sticker. Advertises. Oh, wow, this is very dirty 
Oh, this is not in good condition. There's tape on this end of the handle. So I'll take that off. Doesn't smell, it smells kind of musty. Put some bubble wrap over the cord hook. Handle looks okay. But handle is covered in scratches, and there's also a sticker from A plus vacuum, whatever that is, and powerful suction. Yeah, this is really like scratched up and beat up and not in good condition. I was hoping this would be in better condition than my other handle, but it's not. This is in significantly worse condition, and I paid a lot more for this. Okay, that's not good. Um, I mean, technically I paid $90, right? Whereas the other one I paid $100 for, but this one also had is $50 bucks shipping, $50, $60 bucks shipping. So that's, in practice, I, I spent, I still spent a lot more money on this. Whether or not that went towards the item itself, because there are cheaper ways to ship. So, this handle is not great, and first impressions based on this handle are not excellent, unfortunately. But it's fine, nothing seems to be broken on it. I'm sure the average person wouldn't care. Alright, so is there going to be a hose or something in here? Oh, here's the, here's one of the attachments. This is the combination tool. And this is the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, this is not the correct tool. This is this is the tool that goes to. Actually, I be, this is a I, this is a tool that goes to the newest dice. No, not the newest one. The newest ones have a red button. This goes to like the I think that like the twenty four, twenty five, or twenty eight, something like that. Definitely not the eighteen. Does this even? No, it it it, it doesn't even fit. See if it, if it fit, that was one thing, but it, it doesn't fit. Okay. Why, why would you include that? that? That's not the right attachment. See, it's one thing if it, if, it was, if it was a replacement attachment, but it still fit. But this doesn't fit. This is useless. All right. Um, I mean, I, I knew that this wasn't the exact original attachment, but I didn't realize it wasn't going to fit. So like, what if you if you're a normal person and you bought this and your attachment is worthless because you can't use it on your new vacuum. All right. Spawn of Satan. At least this is, this is wrapped up nicely. A bit excessive. You couldn't like remove the head assembly. Is the hose back here? I don't think the hose is attached. Oh god. I hate this package. Alright, what else is in here? You get any sort of like green card or that's just more of the box. More of the box. Okay, so that's everything. So now we gotta put all these stupid peanuts back in this box. Why would you. Yeah, see, this is a horrible box. Why would you use this box? I'm not gonna, like, compliment that box. I mean, it's good ingenuity, taping two boxes together. 
But it's unnecessary. It, it should be unnecessary. But I mean, if if it arrived in one piece, then I guess it's not a big deal. I have to rip this whole thing apart. It's packed very well. I'm very happy about that. Where's that knife that I just had? Uh, I don't know where I just put it. Oh, I see. So, it's just loads and loads and loads of bubble wrap and... Very tightly wrapped. The packaging job on this is very good. Like, really good. So, I can't really complain about that. I definitely am just... I'm definitely happy about how good this is packed. I almost just scratched that. Which is, the, which is the only downside to packaging like this, is that you end up scratching the device, taking off the packaging, and then at that point, what was, why did you bother? But I don't think that'll happen in this case. Alright. So now getting this off of the front is probably going to be, sorry if it's hard to see this. I don't know how I'm going to get this off the front. Unless I just cut straight through this. how this code that hose is from right here. is boring. I'm just trying to get this out. There we go. Ew. Why is this not snapping upright? Oh, I see. Because the wheels are down like that. There we go. All right, and the hose is attached. And there's tape on the body, which I hate, because that's gonna leave residue. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that's fantastic. The, that's broken. Well, that's fantastic. The, uh, oh, you taped all of this? Why? Now you have residue all over the vacuum. Well, that looks decent. The bin looks all right. I'm, I don't, I do not like the way this is packed. See how there's residue on the machine, on the cord, and this doesn't stand up. This will not, I, 
Do you see this? This, this pedal's broken. That's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm returning this. That pedal's not working. All right. So I've already determined from that alone that I'm gonna re that I'm gonna return this because I, I can't I can't sell a vacuum I can't sell a vacuum off to another collector if it has that on it. This cord is filthy. Wow. You couldn't clean the cord? Alright. Yeah, I'm disappointed with this. Some some of the parts on this are nice, but other parts are like take some pride in your work. You can't you, you, I mean, because come on, you could easily just run that down with a sponge. It would take two seconds. It would take five seconds. And that would be clean. Or at least almost clean. And yeah, I know, I know they didn't like advertise it as refurbished or anything. Which I'm glad they didn't. This would not qualify. But at the same time, it's like, like would you like would you buy this? Like just think of just think about it like that. Would you buy this? Would I buy this? Just think. Like if I was in the market for a Dyson, like if I'm the seller, I'd be like, am I if I'm in the market for a Dyson and I paid for this, would I be happy with it? And who knows, maybe maybe the seller said they would. Ugh. Yeah, and there and there's residue all over the board from that tape. Why you never use this tape? You use, you use blue or green painter's tape, or you use a rubber band, or anything else. See that this? Oh my! This is disgusting. This hose is now covered in adhesive. This rubber part, because this tape just completely rubbed off the rubber part on this hose, and now I'm covered in sticky shit. Sorry about the language. I know there's some younger viewers watching this. My apologies. And this is all just like not even coming off properly. Yeah, it's not coming off all the way. It's not. Okay, there, it's kind of standing up, but you can tell it's about to fall because this pedal is not... Oh. Let's see, does the hose have any... The hose is sticky. But the hose is actually pretty clean, surprisingly. Actually, that's really good. The hose is pretty clean. It's not all that... It's not all that yellowed. I'm not seeing any splits in it yet. And the hose looks pretty good. If it wasn't for them putting that stupid adhesive on it, the hose would be excellent. But now this has a bunch of adhesive on it. Hold on. I'm going to grab a sponge. Maybe I can rub that off. I'll be right back. Okay, no. So, I tried to scrub off this adhesive, and no, the adhesive's not coming off. So, trying to remove this adhesive is not at all helping. It's still just as sticky if you touch it, and just as gross feeling. All right, well, let's uh, put the handle on this. Obviously, we can't put on the attachment because it doesn't fit. And it's probably just got adhesive all inside this handle, which, uh, yeah. OK, 
can I clean up some of this gunk on the handle? Actually, yeah, I can. Some of this. Some of it's like really deep, deep grooves. But yeah. All right, let's slide that on there. Pop that on. Yeah, see, yeah, that's, that's broken. Look at that. That's broken. If I'm super careful with it, it stands up and then it falls. Yep. All right. Well, let's plug it in and uh, see if this works. Let's check the pre-motor filter. Oh! <coughs> Ew! This pre-motor filter... It smells... It... It smells like dog urine. How does a cyclone assembly smell? <coughs> oh god! That smells like dog urine. Oh, that's strong. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Where the, where is my Febreze? And there's tape stuck to my foot. Where is my Febreze? Well, and I'll give that a couple seconds to dry out so that doesn't get any moisture inside of it. So, let's plug this in and uh, we'll give it a little test run. So there's really nothing that I'm really happy about about this besides, see, I'd be super happy with the condition of the hose if it didn't have that adhesive on it that makes it, you know, impossible to to deal with. It's packing peanuts are all over the place. Alright. So and the plug Yeah, I'm not going to complain about the plug. It's probably fine. Oh my god, that sounds awful. That sounds like it's had water damage. Also, you shipped it in the on position. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound good. And that's gonna fall back again. Stand up. Please stand up. That's not gonna stand up, okay. <sighs> All right. The bin, oh, there's moisture in the bin. They shipped it wet. And no, I'm not talking about the top part that I just sprayed, sprayed for breeze in. I mean, there, there's water in this. It looks like they... Like, it, it's weird because it looks like they cleaned out the cyclone. Yet it smells awful. Like, I think they just ran water through this and didn't actually, like, wash it out properly. But look, if I'm an if I'm an average person, I bought this and I'm gonna use it. So let's let's try it. 
I think the brush roll kicked in, so I think that works. that wind down noise oh dang it it was almost okay oh oh that smell is really bad so despite me spraying for breeze on the filter this is that smell is awful uh, it's not the worst that I've smelled, but it's far from the best. This is, um, this is embarrassing. Uh, yeah. So, I paid, again, let me pull my phone out of my pocket. My other phone, I mean, because obviously I'm recording this. So let, let's, um, let's read this again. Another great sale, Dyson DC-18 Slim Ball, all floors. With two, with two and one P, oh, maybe that's not saying it has two attachments. Maybe that's saying it has the two and one attachment, okay. So I guess they didn't really say it had both attachments. With two-in-one piece attachment cleaner. It is in used condition, working condition. It is functions as expected from this high-end brand company. Vacuum has normal wear. See all pictures for a better description and ask questions if you like. Thanks. See below for details. Okay, well, there's nothing below. So, 
returns are accepted. Oh, and it says buyer pays return shipping. Okay, that pisses me off. I did not notice that whenever I first... Watch them try to charge me $100 to send it back. Um, yeah. I mean, looking at the pictures... Like, when you, when you look at the pictures, I guess there's that, where that little red button is down a little bit. I didn't necessarily notice that. But they, and they show it all cleaned out. They show it standing up just fine. It looks like it's in fine condition. Especially the cyclone assembly, that looks perfectly nice and clean, but you can't really, there's no smell-o-vision. It's weird how they cleaned out the cyclone assembly, but they wouldn't even, like, wipe off the vacuum. See, that looks fine. I mean, it looks like they cleaned the brush roll, too. Just didn't clean the actual window for the brush roll, which is understandable. Sometimes that's a pain to get to, I get that. But I'm just really confused by this whole thing. Delivered on May 28th, and today is May 28th. But yeah, so this is not a very good showing of this machine. <coughs> Bless me. Um, so, yeah, I'm disappointed with this. Because let's let's run down again. So I paid eighty nine ninety five plus fifty nine ninety five. Okay, so I paid ninety dollars plus sixty dollars shipping. I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for this. One hundred and fifty dollars is more than what you would pay for a refurbished Dyson DC thirty three direct from Dyson. And based on the pictures, it looked like they had cleaned this up. So I, even though it's marked as used, because of the fact that they actually cleaned out the cyclone assembly and the brush bar, I was I was expecting a sort of cellar refurbished condition. But they clearly didn't even take the two seconds to see if this attachment fits the vacuum. So, I guess the level of care with this is not up to that standard. So anyways, uh, again, running running down all the problems, the brush bar motor makes a weird noise, and the actual cleaner head bounces up off of the floor whenever you turn it at an angle, which it's not supposed to do. It's supposed to be smooth. That's the whole point of the ball. The attachment that was included is not the correct one for this machine and does not fit, and it's completely worthless by, by that definition. The, the cyclone assembly has been haphazardly cleaned out and has a horrible smell, not just of pets, but specifically of pet urine. Um, and that smell uh, is also uh, reflective in the pre-motor filter, which also has not been cleaned properly and has been, mis has been installed incorrectly. The lower hose uh, is filthy, has not been cleaned, which technically wasn't advertised, so I guess I can't really knock on him for that. The main hose is actually in really good condition. It's not all that dirty, and it's decently clear. It doesn't have any splits in it that I found, except it, it would be perfect except for the issue where there is adhesive all over the hose, and that means that the hose is unusable because every time you touch it, you get covered in very sticky, very hard to wash off adhesive. The cleaner wand, uh, the wand handle, is also not in the best condition. It's covered in scratches and dents, and, and dirt that's on it is impossible to clean off. I've attempted to clean off the dirt. It is clearly actual damage and will not come off. Both of the cord hooks are in good shape. The wheels are, themselves are in decent shape, but the actual, heighted, the actual handle release pedal is broken. 
and is not latching the machine properly. As you can see, I have it propped up with a box to keep it from falling over. And the cord is in very poor condition. The entire thing is very, very dirty, very sticky, very discolored. The actual plug has bent prongs and also sparked whenever I plugged it in, although that could be normal because sometimes that happens. So overall, I'm not impressed with this for $150. And I know I only paid $90 for the item itself, but as a customer, you still pay for the shipping, even though the buyer doesn't get that profit from it. That's still money that was paid towards the item. So I paid $150 for this after taxes, $160 something. And I'm very disappointed. Uh, considering the fact that I also that I do have another DC-18 that's in much better condition that I got for $100, and I will be returning this machine, and I will not be keeping it. Um, so I will be contacting the I will be contacting the seller and asking if they noticed any of the issues with the device before it was posted. And regardless, I will be requesting a refund. If if I get slapped with a huge fee to send it back, then I will probably make a follow-up video complaining about this because um, when I receive an item in this condition, and none of this was mentioned in the, in the listing, like first off, let's take the let's take the listing at face value. And sorry, my voice is echoey because I'm standing up right now. Let's take this at face value. If you want to, if you want to say that oh, the seller didn't advertise that it would smell good, the seller didn't advertise that it wouldn't have scratches on it, the seller didn't advertise that certain parts would have wouldn't would have wouldn't have adhesive on it, which first off, that's not how it works, but let's give them that benefit of the doubt. They said that it's in complete functional condition. That's not complete functional condition when the vacuum can't even stand up on its own. See, look at this. It's A normal person who buys this is not going to be happy with this. They are not going to accept this. So anyways, um, yeah. So that's that. Oops. So that's that Dyson DC-18 slim ball all floors yada 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 um, so I'm disappointed with this to say yeah okay yeah you can, you can just lean back there so I'm disappointed with this to say the least and I'm glad that I bought it and not someone else who would have actually been interested in using this machine I guess it doesn't matter because it's still going back. And if I have to pay an exorbitant fee to send this back after I already overpaid for a machine that's clearly defective in many different areas, I'm going to be uh, very upset. Because frankly,